So I'm Brian here today. I had an email today from a gentleman. It's a typical topic that comes up every week. At some point, somebody emailed me, calling me, asking me about it. Topic is uh, pH and using high calcium uh, liquids. And here's my take. I used to sell uh, chelated uh, liquid uh, calciums many years ago. I could still sell it now, but again, here's uh, uh, my opinion. We'll just say it's an opinion, but I'll back it up with some science in that as well. Um, it's more of a Band-Aid effect. So again, you know, same as if you're talking about dry uh, pellet lime versus regular egg lime. Egg lime is going to give you more of an, ex it takes longer to kick in, gives you more of an extended period of time where it's uh, working for you. Pelletized lime kicks in uh, about four months quicker and won't last quite as long. And again, the thing is like even with the liquid calciums, um, It'll kick in and it'll work fairly fast, really, really fast, but again, it doesn't linger. And again, my point and uh, my question I'll ask people is, how much are you using per acre? And then when they give me a number, if it's not five gallons, 10 gallons, then my next question is, how deep is it penetrating your soil? How deep is it affecting your pH? How deep do you need your soil pH to change? That is my question to you. That's my question I want each and every one of you guys to ask whoever's trying to sell you these products. I'm not saying there's not a benefit to it, but again, it's a really short-term benefit. And again, it's a matter of, do you use some or do you use enough that it's doing much good in the six inch soil profile um another little thing i want to challenge people with is what's the most important thing in soil most people say ph and i'm like oh contraire it's not the most important thing you could have a 6.5 ph and not have very good growth at all why can that why might there be because you might have poor soil microbial activity that's the single most important thing in having healthy soil that grows vigorous healthy forages second most important thing is your soil cec number cation exchange capacity that's something that's harder to change but yes you can change it and that's for a whole other topic and then lastly is the soil uh ph and again i'm not saying soil ph is not important but it's not the most important thing so how can you circumvent to a point uh, having poor soil pH. And again, the problem with low soil pH is most forages will grow in low soil pH, but then when we get out there, usually in week four, five, six, because you're not uptaking nutrients effectively, then they'll fizzle out the run of steam when they really need, especially those nitrogen, uh, heavy nitrogen uh, requiring mining uh, uh, type forages, they really have the demand for those nutrients. And when they can't get the demand into those nutrients at that point in time is where the wheels fall off. So how, what's the solution? The solution is, is what I have a lot of my customers do. Switch from a dry program, which is not efficient as it is, no matter what your pH is, into an all-liquid program. So you can uptake nutrients through the roots. But again, when you uptake nutrients through the leaves, some guys might ask me, John, aren't we basically taking roots on to, on a plate? And the answer is no. We're basically reducing the importance of roots with nutrient uptake, but we're shooting the nutrients through the leaves, moving, flowing down into the roots where they're stored. So again, if you have, even if you're using a lot of pellet lime, fast acting lime, if your pHs are lower or, um, and that, and if you have poor soil microbial activity, which a lot of people out there do, um, you know, you're able to still have a really good growth in the in efficiency, and we're doing it very rapidly. One to four hours uh, moves into the leaves, absorbed and flows down to the roots. So again, um, what I want my customers to do, and I want you guys to do, is instead of spending money on a really short um, fix, to spend money that's a long term fix using liquids that will that will benefit you throughout that growth cycle at a really reasonable price that can be as little as half the price of a dry program and again instead of spending x dollars on uh, liquid calcium why well, you spend x dollars on a sound balanced liquid program that contains a uh, n p and k humix micronutrients essential boron and in some cases, the you know, sulfur that can be included in there. And with a couple of products that I use, we also have root stimulator, which is still is really important to grow a big, vigorous, healthy roots. And then lastly, uh, microbe food sources. Because again, I say the most important thing with soil is soil microbial activity. Five minutes, talking pH, liquid calciums. John will grab Ray outdoors.